Good morning. Is everybody ready? All right. Good morning. I'm Sheriff Bill Greenwald, Clinton County Sheriff. Uh, we're here today to kind of update the media on uh, an incident that we're investigating from yesterday. Uh, on March 22nd, at about 6.30 p.m., uh, deputies were called to 270th Avenue between 210th Street and 218th Street uh, after two local fishermen discovered what was believed to be uh, human remains. Uh, when deputies arrived on scene, uh, they immediately notified uh, our investigations unit, uh, the command staff from the Clinton County Sheriff's Office. Um, when I arrived out on scene, um, I was surprised at the information that the deputies had discovered, and uh, they shared with me that they believed that the two fishermen that were out in this area located what was believed to be human remains. Um, based on ongoing investigations in both uh, Clinton County and Scott County. Uh, we reached out to the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation, uh, who frequently comes to assist us uh, with these type of investigations. Um, and at that time, uh, both Davenport Police Department and Clinton Police Department were contacted uh, based on some ongoing investigations they have. Um, since then, the, the investigation remains uh, ongoing. Uh, we apologize we couldn't get information out earlier. We've been working through the night uh, to prepare for this. Um, media release this morning, this press conference that we're providing you. Uh, right now, we're working with the uh, Iowa Division of Criminal Investigations, the Clinton Police Department, uh, the Davenport Police Department, Federal Bureau of Investigation, uh, Clinton County Medical Examiner's Office. Um, I believe there were a couple other agencies that have been actively assisting us. Um, right now, the investigation is ongoing. Um, I'm gonna turn the Mike over to uh, Chief Paul Sikorsky of the Davenport Police Department uh, that's been assisting us with this investigation. Good morning, everybody. Um, so first and foremost, I think it's important um, that our community knows the resources that are, um, that are working together uh, on what was discovered by some community members from, uh, from the Clinton County area last night. Um, the sheriff uh, contacted our agency uh, for support and also knowing that uh, we've been conducting an investigation for some 10 months uh, on a missing young lady, uh, so we're certainly interested in this uh, discovery as well. Um, ultimately, there will be uh, families affected greatly by our discovery yesterday. Uh, so as a law enforcement family and as uh, a caring community here in Clinton and, and in Scott County, uh, we offer our prayers and condolences uh, in advance to uh, those families, um, but also to our community, uh, a very caring community who obviously yesterday uh, cared enough to call the Clinton County Sheriff's Department uh, and inform them of, of something. So there's great trust in this, uh, in this community with, with their police and, and with their Sheriff's Department. Um, Law enforcement in our area, as our community knows, works greatly with each other. We work collaboratively, uh, and when a law enforcement agency needs assistance with personnel, with uh, expertise, with technology, they call and we come, and that's why we're here. Um, we have uh, detectives working along with uh, evidence personnel, uh, assisting our, uh, the agents with the Divi Division of Criminal Investigation and the Clinton County Sheriff's Department, and we will continue to do so. Um, just, it's important for me to let our community members know that the remains have not been identified. Uh, they, there, there will be some time that's going to go by before we can get identification of the remains that, that have been located. Um, and uh, with that said, uh, if there's any questions, we have uh, Special Agent Rick Ron from the DCI here, and then obviously the Sheriff and, and the Police Chief from Clinton are here as well, we can certainly answer uh, questions for you. And if there are, aren't any, that's uh, fine as well. So how long does it, do you know, do you have a time span as far as forensic identification? <clears throat> yeah, that's a good question. And we try our best to get the identification done as quickly and efficiently as possible. And so at this point, we're estimating, or at least hoping anyway, that it'll be anywhere between a week to two weeks at best. Because these things take time, and we want to make sure that they are done correctly. 
And so we are going to rely upon our laboratory to conduct those tests and hopefully get those results back soon. Has, has there been any arrests made in relation to the finding of these remains? No, there has not been. Well, can you tell us about the preservation of the remains found at the scene? Well, we are currently on the scene right now, preserving uh, the, the remains as best as possible. We have brought in some specialists from across the state to assist with that. And um, we are doing everything we can to properly collect the remains and uh, take a proper care of the remains. How long do you expect uh, people to be out there investigating that scene? It's going to take a while. I mean, it, these things take time because we were very uh, thorough and systematic when we, we do these types of crime scenes. And so we anticipate being there for a number of hours. And I assure you, we will be there until we get it properly processed and the remains properly removed from the scene. How were the remains found? At that point, I can't, at this point anyway, I'm not able to provide you that information. That's an investigative fact that we're not going to release at this point in time. Is there any indication on how long they may have been there? I, I don't have that information for you. Where was the remains found? As the sheriff said, uh, in the northern part, of, just north of DeWitt, and I think it was 270th Street, and um, it's a, I, would, I don't know if I'd refer to it as a remote area, but it is a, it, within the county, anywhere, Clinton County. That's a pond there, right? That's there is, yes, ma'am. But were the remains male or female? Those we don't know. Again, it's going to take a while to process the scene and we are not able at this point in time to be able to identify the remains whether it be uh, gender or race at this point. Is there any threat to public safety? No. Um, and we want to assure the public that there is no threat. We don't feel that there is at this point. If there were, we'd be sure to let the, the public know that. But I think I can speak on behalf of them, the, the sheriff, the, the chief, and uh, the chief of downport that we feel that the public is not in any threat at this point in time or in danger. Yes, sir. Were there any other items or evidence found at the scene? Well, we're still in the process of collecting evidence at the scene. So uh, we just really started it, to be honest with you. These things take time. And so, like you said, we were there all night preserving the scene. We brought in specialists today to start collecting that evidence. And so at this point, I can't tell you what has been collected because we're still in that process of doing that right now. Do you know if it was an adult or a child? Again, I can't be able to identify um, race or age or anything of that nature at this point. I know the DCI, FBI, and you know, Clinton and Davenport are all contributing to this. How, how many men do you guys have assigned to this? Well, that's a good question. And, and I will tell you that we have had at least boots on the ground from last night until today. I would say we've had anywhere between 30 to 40 people up at this point in time. I'm not sure how many more we will need, but we will definitely be able to put together the proper manpower to, to get the job done in a professional way. Have any families been notified? I know we mentioned that there is a missing persons case that is on everyone's mind. Um, and will they be able to identify the body at any point today? Or? Not sure what families will be able to notify uh, because there's multiple, as you all know, multiple investigations going on, but we're trying to notify the, the appropriate families if we deem necessary, but at this point, it's hard to say because again, as we mentioned, we don't know exactly who we have there and we're trying to make that identity as quickly as possible. Okay, any other questions, folks? Please you share your name, sir. Yes, I'm sorry, my first name is Richard. Last name's Ron, R-A-H-N. I'm special agent charged with the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other comments, folks? Well, again, we thank you for coming. Uh, rest assured, as soon as we're able to provide you more information, we'll, we'll do so. But it, it's going to take a while, so give us time if you would, please. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. We have a formal release for you on your way out. It will also be an electronic copy will be sent out shortly.